Hi, today we're going to show you how to put the river on our SK860 knitting machine. Um, the connections are slightly different for some of the other models, so uh, to some extent this may only apply to the uh, SK860. But first, what we'd like to do is just give you a quick orientation of the parts and what we're going to do before we actually do it. Um, one of the first steps is you'll notice we've taken the carriage off of the main bed um, and we've kind of gotten everything uh, cleared off of our table in the immediate range of uh, the main bed. Here is our ribber and it's located in a uh, dual rifle case. Um, not being gun people, we, we're not familiar with uh, rifle cases, but we'll tell you that it makes a great storage area for the river. So, um, this here is the bed of the river, and very important are these clamps. And uh, what these clamps are going to do is substitute for these clamps over here on the main bed, and they're going to hold the uh, main bed at an angle so that um, the river can attach properly. Now the most important thing, you'll notice that the previous owner of this river did label all the pieces um, whoops, with which machine it went with. And that's because um, the standard gauge river will have a clamp just like this but it will be slightly smaller and if you use a standard gauge clamp in a mid gauge machine or a, a mid gauge clamp in a bulky machine or vice versa then it will not um, connect, your river will not connect properly and you can have a problem. There's going to be a funny space and you're never going to know why and, and the machine's not going to work. So if you've got multiple rivers uh, take a hint here from the previous owner and mark which uh, gauge and which model of river uh, the clamp goes with. So um, the next step we're going to do is to rotate the um, tension unit here. Um, normally you would take this off but we're kind of lazy. So um, for the river You'll notice that there's this bend uh, right here at the bottom area. And when you use your river, you want the bend uh, to the, actually the, the pointy part to be angling back. So you see now, now that I've rotated it around, the uh, tension unit is actually leaning towards me. When you angle the main bed back, it will actually be at the proper um, angle here. So what I do is I rotate the um, the little uh, metal arm there and then I come back and rotate these top parts and uh, these other parts which I will do off camera because it's very difficult to hold the camera and do the rotation. So uh, give us a minute and we're going to reset and uh, show you again. Hi, we're back and we've put one of the river clamps on the main bed already so that you can kind of see where we're going with this. Um, you see how the clamp will hold the machine up at an angle. The river will then come off the machine uh, sort of in a triangular pattern. So what you want to do is notice there's this keyhole um, up here and the metal. Now, what you're going to do is, um, on this part, you want to loosen it so that this little um, rivet here has a slight space. Once it's in, in the keyhole, then what you're going to do is tighten it to reduce that space. So you see now there is no space, and that is what's going to hold the clamp to the main bed. So we'll show that again and you'll see that as we turn the screw now there 
you see that there is a space. You want that there when you put it into the keyhole. Then this portion here is going to clamp to your table. Now, very important, this table, when you use a ribber, needs to be very firm and a hard wood. If you use a soft wood, uh, you may have a disaster on your hands because the ribber is roughly 30 pounds hanging cantilevered off of your table and this is what's holding it on. So if your table is not a hardwood table and uh, these clamps slip or bend, uh, you're going to be in trouble. So um, we're going to take a moment, put the camera back on a tripod, uh, and then we'll show you how to hook this up. Hi, we're back, and we're going to align this rivet thing with the keyhole. The other clamp on the main bed is loose so that we can move the bed around. And once we have this in the keyhole, we're going to tighten up the uh, table clamp on this side as well as the other side just so that the main bed doesn't move. Okay, once we've got that done and the unit is clamped to the table, we're going to tighten this up so that any movement in the main bed does not disconnect it from the uh, clamp here. Verify that both sides are okay. And now you're ready to hook up the river. Now, let's take the camera off the tripod and show you. Okay, there are these plates on the river. This will sit on top of the main bed, and this piece here will sit on your table. Now, uh, most people will uh, clamp this down to the table, and we'll show you that in a minute. But we'll assume that the screw holes are here in case you wanted to screw it down. If you always leave your ribber on the um, table, we would recommend that you screw it down, because this area here... Um, the clamping can uh, be difficult, especially if you have a very soft table, and if this slips, um, again, you, you can have injury here. So, um, let's first just look at this triangular piece here that will sit on top of the uh, main bed, and uh, then we'll come up and show you where that's going to go. Okay, this here is going to go into that hole. The triangular piece is going to insert into this slot here that is on your main bed. So we're going to lift the ribber up, put the pin in the hole. That uh, clamping plate is going to go right here on the table. Now, these clamps here that were used for the main bed they are designed to be that clamp that will hold that river uh, plate onto the table. However, if you have a soft table and uh, there's something going on, this clamp will bend. So instead of using this one, we prefer to use these heavier duty ones. They're not going to bend in this area, bend backwards or anything like that. So this is actually what we prefer to use. Uh, these are kind of expensive to replace. These are not. So, and these are more effective. Um, give us a second and we're going to lift the river on and then we're going to show you uh, the correct placement. Okay, we've got our river uh, sitting on top of the main bed. And if you look over here, you'll see that here's the river, and the pin is sitting in the hole. What used to be kind of a triangular area here is actually sitting in the slot. Now, the, one of the challenges of getting the river on is getting this uh, plate to be on that pin, as well as this plate. 
and you would have thought, oh, well, it's not that big of a deal. It's the same distance. Why is it not uh, seeming to fit? Well, that's because of these levers here. We'll go back on this side because I think it's going to be easier to see. These levers, one on each side, will move this river up and down. And the reason you want to move it up and down is either to get it out of the way if you're not using the river or, um, you know, to try to see the work better. Because you'll see that when you have the river on, there's only a slight gap and the distance between this gap is very important from a stitching perspective but sometimes you really need to see a drop stitch or whatever that's when you're going to want to lower this bed and uh, take a look now we have not yet clamped this here because we just want to show you what it's supposed to look like but this is where it's very important that you clamp this down because as you're moving the uh, carriage and the river around um, this really needs to be firmly attached to your table because if you look at the side view here that river is really not over the structure of the table it's cantilevered well off this is a good 30 pounds of metal right here so you do want to clamp this down very firmly so um, we'll take a moment get the clamps and uh, show you that Okay, we're back to show you just how this plate uh, gets clamped with the clamp here. There's this flat area that we showed you earlier, and the clamp is just going to go on top of the flat area and um, attach to the table from underneath here. So you can see we're just going to tighten it up. This is um, a hardwood plywood. Uh, we learned our lesson from our previous softer wood. And this has been holding our river very steady uh, since we installed it. So uh, the other factor involved here in the adjustment of the river is um, this racking handle. And this also controls the distance um, between the uh, two plates that hold the river onto the main bed. So uh, you want to try to make sure that your racking handle is set to roughly in the middle here at, you know, four or so. Um, but still, in absence of having the uh, plate up here attached, it will move around. And that's why. Um, while it's definitely possible to attach the river to the main bed with one person, uh, the first time or two, you may want to have a second person, one end at each uh, side of the river, while uh, you try to play with these um, handles here or the racking uh, to control the position of this plate here um, so that you can get it uh, properly aligned you want to make sure that you understand the proper positioning of this plate here and um, this arm here relative to the table to make sure that your river is firmly on there because like I said uh, as you move the carriage around the um, main bed and river will have some slight movement and if your attachments are not uh, perfect you're going to have a problem um, probably on your feet. So uh, that's how to attach a ribber or actually the SK860 ribber uh, to the uh, SK860 machine. Um, this is it in all its glory. Uh, good luck and uh, make sure you wear shoes the first few times.